Hey y'all, what's up? It's Dawn Danielle, and I am making a quick tutorial on how to wear wigs on roller coasters. I just started wearing wigs within the last year, and so this is not an issue I ran into. But then, of course, summer came along, and you might be going to some kind of amusement park or any place that has a roller coaster, and you don't know what to do with your hair. Um, I like wearing my natural hair, I'm very proud of it. You can check out my other video on a natural hair tutorial. I just want to give you some tips on how to keep your wigs secure. I love my natural hair, like I said. However, Orlando is hot. And TSA is not letting me through with my arsenal of hair care supplies. I feel like I overheat more with the huge afro framing my face. And also, you'll know that humidity does terrible things to your hair. And so I prefer to wear wigs sometimes just because I can throw one on and it's more secure. However, um, if you are not securing it properly, you might be afraid to go on a roller coaster with one. My biggest advice, if you do not like to glue down your hair or if you don't have time to track down one of those um, you know, sticky bands or whatever you can put around, bobby pins are your best friend. Get like one or two packs of these things, and no joke, I will stick about 50 of these in my hair. You also want to consider getting the long ones. So you have these small ones, your standard bobby pins, and then you have you know, one that's a little bit longer and thicker. Um, and so what I personally do is, if I'm wearing a wig, I will go around the crown of my hair, you know, and like maybe just lift up some hair too so you're not, you don't have a bunch of bobby pins on the surface of your hair. Lift up my hair and just pin. You know, go under, cover it back up when I'm done, and pin around the crown of my hair. Lots in the back and, you know, some up front as well so it's more secure. I have one of my old wigs here. It's one of the very first ones that I bought. And you know if you wear wigs, you have like the tracks running across. When I pin it on the other side, I'm trying to get under the track and go through my wig cap a little bit and secure it into my own hair. Um, so because I'm going on a roller coaster, yes, I will actually put, like I said, lift a little piece up, push it through, Try to get under one of those tracks, pierce it through my wig cap. If you're wearing a wig cap underneath, pierce it through and have it push into my own hair in the braids underneath the wig cap and the wig. And that makes me feel like it's on my head. And then I would suggest wearing a short wig if you can. Um, if you're going to wear a longer one, it might feel even less secure because with a short wig you have everything here. Um, if you want to, when you're on the ride, you can just pretend you're scared and cover your head. Yep, that is a photo at me at Universal holding my wig in place. And a lot of people were like, oh, she must be so scared. And really, I was like, I'm scared. This is going to fly off my head. Um, but aside from that, I do feel confident as like, if I wasn't holding my head, I don't think it would have come off. I just didn't want to risk it. So that's my biggest advice. I know it might seem simple and silly to just put a bunch of bobby pins in your hair, but like I said, I personally do it because my natural hair, it's just a lot to manage. It gets really hot. I feel like I overheat more and um, just the humidity doesn't do well with it. So I like to wear wigs. Other people have to wear wigs for health and hair reasons and some people just do it for fashion and style. So there's nothing wrong with wearing wigs in public, especially in amusement parks. Just make sure it's secure. The biggest issue you might have is that your head hurts because you have a wig on your head and you have all these tight bobby pins in it. Um, but personally, I'd rather have that problem than worrying about my wig flying off the coaster. And if your hair does fly off on any kind of ride, I'm not even going to tell you not to be embarrassed because that is a hard situation. However, just make light of it, you know, laugh it off, and then go find your hair and get it real quick and put it back on. Um, or sport your natural hair. But yeah, so I'm going to Universal. I'm very excited and I'm going to try to ride at least five roller coasters, um, tell you about the intensity and stuff and whether my wig survives. So let's see how that goes. Hey y'all, what's up? Okay, so we are testing out the wig theory on these roller coasters today. We're going to be testing it at Universal Islands of Adventure. Um, and I basically just pin on my hair. I have like maybe 50 or more bobby pins in it. Make sure, you know how your wigs have like that clip in the back? Usually I don't press mine in just because my wig's already tight enough, but this time I actually pressed it in and I put bobby pins 
like underneath to kind of try to seal my hair because it's thick. It lifts up a little bit in the back where I have a lot of cornrows braided underneath and so I try to push it down and like pin it to seal it in, seal all around. Put a lot right here in your front. Um, and just don't be afraid to use a lot of bobby pins. But yeah, that's my biggest advice. Use your clips. Use a lot of bobby pins. It does feel a little tight, but on a scale of one to like getting my hair professionally braided in the salon, I'd say it's like maybe a five or six. So it's enough to tolerate for the day and make sure my hair stays on. That said, let's go to Universal. Alright y'all, the wig might have been a mistake because it is hot. <laughs> So, uh, I think that's gonna be our first, first coaster. All right, y'all, the wig survived. It survived, I'm so happy. That was the whole ride we just went on. It's very fast, very sudden. Yeah, that was intense and my hair survived. I'm so happy. Um, some quick tips if you are still worried. Like I said, lots of bobby pins, but you can also press your head back against the seat so it feels a little more secure. When I'm holding on like to the handlebars, I also will kind of hold on my hair a little bit and pull down on both sides, so I'm like, uh, I can't really show you, but I'm pulling my hair on both sides to kind of keep it down. Um, and what else? When your ride stops, you always get to an area where they, if you're for the first cart, you know, there's multiple roller coasters. Um, if you're the first one, you don't, you know, you're not as lucky, but if you are one of the second or third ones, on the same ride sometimes they'll stop you in a little area that's not where everybody is waiting in line and so it gives you a moment to fix yourself up a little bit but we survived on the first ride i'm very happy about that i'm not too worried about it but you never know so we're going to go on the next one which is the tower super ball i can't read that um, some kind of ball some kind of drop so we'll see how that goes Hey y'all, okay, so the wig survived on the drop tower as well. Um, that's a super quick ride and it's just like a thriller ride where your heart drops out your body really fast. Um, but that is number two? Yeah, ride number two successfully done, so let's keep going. Major shout out to my wig and lashes for surviving not one, but two water park rides. On to the next. Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey and Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Venture. For the sake of my sanity, we're calling it the Castle Ride and the Bike Ride. Hey y'all, I just realized I forgot to finish my uh, wearing wigs on roller coaster video. I mean, I went on all the roller coasters, but the park just got a little bit hectic, so I forgot to finish filming there. Um, but long story short, my hair stayed on, on all the rides. I put bobby pins in, put a headband, put a headband on, and I'm happy my hair had stayed on, basically. But that is all. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye! Just kidding, we are not done yet. A few days later, I actually went to Six Flags. Now, if you're like me and you've never been, you might have thought that Six Flags was kind of just like an evolved state fair. Sketchy inspections, maybe some good food, and a few thriller rides. I was wrong. <laughs> Can we talk about my hair real quick because it looked like it actually died. I don't know what happened. Actually, yes I do. Three cities and two amusement parks. It's so sad because this is one of my favorite wigs and I don't even recognize myself. Like, the woman at the beginning of this video, I don't know her. Anyways, on to our next ride. If you're trying to go into another dimension, definitely ride the Mr. Freeze ride. I think this is one of the scariest and best rides at this park. After being absolutely terrified on this, we headed back out. If you've seen my Orlando video, you know I've gone on something like this before. However, this one is much taller. This will be the last ride we test out, so it'd be really nice if my hair didn't fly off on the last ride of the night. I'll let you know how things go after I get off. This hair is a mess. Wow. 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 It's not pretty, but it did survive. 
that's all I have. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next video.